All right, today we're at the Home Depot. They're getting a new parking lot fixed. So I'm picking up a few accessories for my favorite day of the week, which is Tour Review Tuesday. Roll the intro. Today's tool is this right here, the Dremel 5 amp Multimax MM45. There's a smaller version of that. This is the bigger one. And it comes with, it's a 5 amp mower, which is 35% faster cutting and 28 accessories. This one I'm really interested in, the drywall one, that kind of L shape, that hook. I wanna see how that works. And includes a carrying bag. So this is the carry bag. Everything fits really nice in here. So it has all these different types of sandpaper, fine, medium, extra fine. Then here are the different accessories for cutting wood and drywall, wood and metal, drywall jab saw. I do have a piece of drywall. We're gonna test that out. This is a carbide grout and Dremel wood. All right, if you go shopping for a Dremel, you're gonna see all kinds of different accessories. you're likely gonna see these two accessories right here. This is a $60 value. It's the Dremel Multimax five pieces cutting kit assortment. And this kit right here, this is a 13 piece. This is a, I really like this kit right here. This kind of just keeps everything really nice and neat. Ooh, what's this? A multi knife. This looks, this, so when it's showing shingles, this could actually, this looks like the hook Wow, this is cool. When you're doing roofing, you often will have your shingles laying over the one end, so you can easily go through and cut it nice and neat with this. So instead of a utility knife, you could use this and have it powered right through. That's interesting. One thing I plan doing next year is re-roofing this house, doing a tear off, and I'd like to test this out on there and see how it works. If I do, I will show you next year, like next summer. All right, so this is interesting. There's just so many things that I could talk about. A flexible scraper, so this looks like if you're trying to remove some paint, this would scrape that off pretty well. But I remember when I first looked at this, I'm trying to figure out how you take this on and off. Very simple, no tools required. It's a quick lock, as you can see right there. So you just twist that over to the side, push that far enough, and then the accessories come off. So if you wanna put on this one right here, for wood and metal, that just slides in place there. And you line it up just like that. Twist that to lock it in place. And then if I had it plugged in, you just flip the switch and there you go. It does have a variable speed from 10 all the way down. All right, I think we should try this out. I have some things to test it on. Let's get started. <music> Here is a small piece of half inch drywall. So what I'm gonna do is act like I'm cutting out for a couple outlets, these uh, two rectangles. So the first thing we use to cut into it is one of these dual interface blades. It's a Dremel wood and drywall tool. So one thing I didn't mention yet is this has a magnetic holder on it. So as you see, before you even lock it in place, this, holds it so then you can just rotate make sure I do this right there we go so I'm going to use this to make the plunge and then I'm going to cut the four sides
There we go. All right, I did have him to just go a little bit over there. But overall, I can uh, practice with that and get a little better. Now I'm gonna try the drywall jab saw. I don't know how this works. It looks like it's only it has a saw blade, so you have to pull down and guide it those four ways. So let's see how this works. It's a little harder to steer, but that was just my first time. So let's try it again. Okay, so now I knew what to expect from there, so I did a little better off just a little bit, but not nearly as much. Let's try it some more. All right, so I do think I like this drywall jab saw a little bit better. It just penetrates real nice. And then uh, once I went a little slow, a little more careful, then it seemed to cut nice and straight. All right, definitely give it a thumbs up for the drywall work. I'll dial it down a little bit, start off with speed eight. Definitely digs right in. I just have to keep this straight. Let's try it again. Nice. That made quick work of that, that's for sure. All right, let's draw another line. We'll try the rounded one. Same speed, speed number eight. Not as easy to control as you see. I scuffed it up a little bit right there. Let's go up to 10. All right, not bad. I think this is a little bit slower but it did a really nice, nice clean cut. All right, so here's another situation. I have a 12D nail. We're just gonna see if this wood and metal blade will cut through that. So I'm gonna just try to do as much of a flush cut as I can. Let's just say for some reason, all right, so every once in a while you may need to do a flush cut of a nail or something like that. It could be a, this might be able to reach into a more difficult. So every once in a while you may need to do a flush cut of a nail or screw. So I have a 12D nail right here. I'm gonna just see if I can do a relatively flush cut of that. We'll see how long it takes. I'm gonna just put it right up to speed number 10. All right, ready? That was quick. So that might be a little hot. That is nice and flush. I don't even feel that sticking out. All right, what else can we cut? I have some half inch copper pipe. Ooh, that is hot. All right, so I'm gonna try to cut it just on the other side of the threads. I think this is gonna be probably like the most that I would push with this right here. That's um, pretty tough looking. Here we go. All right. 
right, I bet that's hot. <laughs> okay, my next test for you, I have a sheet of quarter inch MDF for you. And what I'm using is the blade that just says Dremel Wood. The other one says Dremel Wood and Metal, right? That really cuts easy. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you think? All right, so I felt like I put this through all the tests. The only thing that I didn't do was use this carbide grout blade right here. Let me get it to focus. So this is the one blade that I wasn't able to test for you. This is the carbide grout blade. I don't really have any grout to grind out, but compared to everything else that I've used, I have no doubt that this will work great. And if you go to the Home Depot website, I'll have a link down below if you're interested in this. You'll see that it has a four and a half star rating with a ton of people reviewing it. And when I think of Dremel, I don't know about you, but when I think about it, it to me is a tool that's going to last a really long time. I, can, I still have the original Dremel that was given to me back when I was quite young. And it's amazing how it still works just as good now as it did when it was given to me. So I have no doubt that when you're buying a Dremel tool that it's built to last. So I think I covered all the bases. I think you'll see that this is made to cover a wide variety of projects, a lot of detail, the fine work. That's uh, what Dremel's known for. So if you enjoy this video review, if it's given you some insight on how the tool works, please give the video a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it friends, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, I think you might like a few other videos over there to the right. So please click on those. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that button down below. And if you want to see what I'm up to throughout the week, please connect with me on Twitter and Instagram. All right, friends. Enjoy.